different question. So this time we will talk about different question. Before we actually covering this topic, I want to review the slope formula first. If we have two points such as 1 and 3 and then 4 and 7, how to find the slope passing through those two points? Then m equal to y2 7 minus y1 3 over x2 4 minus x1 1 so it becomes 4 over 3. That's how we found the slope so far, right? Okay, now I want to using function notation and then reset up this point and define the slope again. Then, so using the function notation, then those points can be rewritten as f1 equal to 3 and then f4 equal to 7. It means if we just using as other pair again, then we can rewrite this 1 comma f1 and then 4 comma f4 here. Okay? Now, so it's 4, so 4, how much more than 1? Yes, 4 means from the initial value x1, we add 3 more. So, this 3 is the interval from the initial value which is 1. Okay? Then from now on, I'm going to indicate interval when uh, expressed as h here. Okay. Then this point, now we can rewrite again, 1 comma f1. Now this, this become 1 plus 3 comma f1 plus 3. So using this, I'm going to set up slope again, then m equal to f1 plus 3 minus f1 over 1 plus 3 minus 1 then this two cancel out therefore this becomes f1 plus 3 minus f1 over 3 here okay so I'm gonna fix the first point using functional notation again so 1 comma f1 and then maybe set up another point, of course using function notation, so which is 5 comma f5 then. Then now, as you know, 5 is 4 more than 1, so in this case, h becomes 4, right? So this point can be rewritten, 1 comma f1, and then 1 plus 4 comma f1 plus 4 again, right? So, slope m equal to f1 plus 4 minus f1 over 1 plus 4 minus 1. Then, as you see, 1 and negative 1 cancelled out. So, this becomes f1 plus 4 minus f1 over 4. Okay, so based on this, you know, we just cover two different examples here. So if you use interval between two x values, then this one usually, the initial value plus interval minus uh, initial value over interval basically. Okay, then now, so far, I just, I just generate only two of them, but I can make many points using interval, such as 1 comma f1, and then 1 plus h comma f1 plus h. 
because if I choose 6, then h becomes 5. If I choose 10, then h becomes 9, something like that. So since h can be very various, so I can rewrite like this way. Then this m becomes usually f1 plus h minus f1 over, so for now, based on our experiment, so we can just say h here. Okay, now, initial value, do we have to set always 1? No, that's not true. It can be any value. If you want to set up from negative 2, then initial value becomes negative 2. If you start from 10, then initial value becomes 10. Okay, so I'm going to set up x as initial value. Then, this law formula, so point become x comma fx, and then x plus h comma fx plus h. Therefore, m becomes fx plus h minus fx over h, right? Basically, that's the different quotient formula here. So. Before, we are using total order pair, but now, in this case, if you know the function and then maybe initial value, which you set up basically, or what will be given to you, then you can find slope based on that. Okay? Then, let's look at one example so that we can see how we can utilize it. So, given function, f x equal to 3x plus 4. And if we want to find out f1 plus h minus f1 over h basically. Okay. Which means we set up initial equal to 1 and then we have interval here. Therefore, you need to find out f1 plus h and f1 using these two fun these functions. Okay, so let's find out f1 plus h first. It means you are plugging this value into x here. So we can write 3 times 1 plus h plus 4. So 3 plus 3h plus 4, which is 7 plus 3h. Okay, that's the f1 plus h. Now, second, what's f1? Yeah, same thing. You are plug, you are plugging 1 into x here. Then, 3 times 1 plus 4, which is 7. So now we are ready to plug all those values into this formula. So this becomes 7 plus 3h minus 7 over h basically. Then it becomes 7 plus 3h minus 7 over h. As you see, h and minus um, 7 and minus 7 cancelled out. So this becomes 3h over h. h cancelled out, so become 3. So there, there is the answer for this case.